Power Rangers, the official comic book adaptation film. The story begins with the Rangers skydiving and performing aerial maneuvers, followed by Bulk and Skull. They are doing this to raise funds for the Angel Grove Observatory because the Comet Ryan will pass by in a few days. Afterward, the Rangers go to Ernie's bar to grab some free snacks, but Tommy wonders what happened to Bulk and Skull. Meanwhile, the two bumbling characters land in a construction area. There, the workers discover something strange, a giant egg trapped by a claw. A burst of energy emanates from the egg, hitting the construction boss. The rangers are taking a shortcut through the park when they suddenly receive a call from the command center. Alpha needs to speak with them urgently. They are then teleported. When they arrive at the command center, Zordon explains that a great danger has emerged. This danger is Ivan Ooze, who over 6,000 years ago ruled worlds by getting rid of their adult population and manipulating the young to follow his path. With great effort, Zordon's faction of warriors, known as the Order of Meladin, managed to lock him away in an underground chamber. The ranger's mission is to bury this chamber again before Ivan Ooze is set free. However, Lord Zed and his gang arrive before the rangers and end up releasing the villain. In gratitude for being set free, Ivan grants a wish to Lord Zed, which is nothing other than the destruction of Zordon. Ivan Ooze senses the ranger's arrival through their scent, and quickly sets up an ambush before disappearing. Zordon senses that Ivan Ooze is on his way, and indeed, he appears to destroy Zordon and the command center. In the battle against Ivan Ooze's monsters, the rangers realize that they need to morph in order to win. To finish the fight, Tommy has the idea to use a garbage container to defeat the remaining monsters. Shortly after, the rangers lose their powers. The rangers go on foot to the command center and find everything destroyed, with Zordon rapidly aging outside his time-warping device. Alpha suggests that their last hope may be to go to the planet Phaedos and find the great power. Using the last batch of energy, Alpha manages to transport the rangers there. Meanwhile, in Lord Zed's castle, Rita and Lord Zed spot the rangers being transported to Phaedos and wonder how Ivan let the rangers escape. Speaking of Ivan, he arrives wanting to become the new leader and traps Rita Repulsa and Lord Zed in a snow globe-like prison while Goldar and the others join him. To pursue the rangers, Ivan creates Teng warriors. The next day, the villain sets his plan in motion to recruit the children of Angel Grove to obtain the ooze and turn their parents into zombie slaves to dig up his robots. When the rangers arrive on Phidos, they are immediately attacked by the Teng warriors but without their powers, they are easy prey. Suddenly, a warrior appears and effortlessly scares off the Tang with her whistle-like staff. The warrior tries to warn the rangers to leave before it's too late, but the yellow ranger interrupts, saying she can't leave because Zordon, their leader, might not survive. Upon hearing Zordon's name, the warrior agrees to help the rangers and reveals her name as Dulcia, the master warrior of Phaedos. Tommy, the White Ranger, tells Dulcia their story, and in return she tells them that without Zordon's help, Phaedos would have never gotten rid of Ivan Ooze. Furthermore, Dulcia reveals that a great power lies within a nearby monolith, but nobody has been able to retrieve it because it is heavily protected. 2. 